Hey everybody, Denise here from Denzi's Orchids. It is Wednesday, April 15th, not tax day. Yay, because I owe this year. <laughs> um, my fault. Anyway, it's not due till July 15th, but my big thing today is talking about overpotting an orchid. Uh, this is an Oncidium Sherry Baby. Nice size plant. I did an emergency repot on him about, I don't know, 15, 16 months ago. And he was doing okay. Put on new growth, so tried to put on a little spike and he just kept stalling out so I thought well I'll repot him when I pulled up the plant this is what remained in the pot no roots touching it whatsoever um, It's not even really funky smelling. Now, look at the circumference of that pot compared to this one. Look at the depth compared to this one. Now this one is about three quarters the depth, but most of what's on the bottom, oops, there's leaves in my way. Most of what's on the bottom is this terrarium terrestrial moss because it doesn't hold water. So you can bump up a pot using inert medium. The stuff doesn't break down. It's fake moss as far as I'm concerned. And so the basket's open, allows a lot of airflow. I'm, uh, I put some because it's fine rooted some smaller bark in it and so I was thinking about putting it out front but you see my point is be careful about over potting in this case it wasn't so much the width but the depth that much around that much of this pot had no roots and it had been long enough but these roots don't get humongous this pot might have been perfect for the gramatophyllum but not for an oncidium so careful of your pot sizes uh, I would say the depth is more important with an Oncidium than the width. Oncidium seem to, from my understanding, put up with a wider pot. So, anyway, that's all I have for today. Other than been busy, it's awful windy, we're supposed to get some rain. Yay! See you next time. Bye.